is up my friends welcome back to the happy power channel today we have for you guys a bunch of leaks revolving around chapter 3 season 1's first update now weirdly enough i think the update might be pushed back we might be getting a content update over on tuesday but we'll get to all that stuff so do not worry uh, before we get to that point though if you guys give me a favor and simply comment down below absolutely anything the more comments on the video the more likely it will hit the algorithm so Comment sus, a single letter, I don't care what it is. Let's just hop directly into it though. So first things first, the next update will not be released this Tuesday, but next Tuesday in 10 days from today. The new update has not been added to the staging servers yet, so there's a 0% chance it will be available this Tuesday. I'm getting some DMs about this, so I thought I would make a tweet about it. But Shadow said it might be a content update coming this Tuesday. So yeah, we could also be seeing a small content update, which generally speaking, does not get added to the staging servers. The bigger updates usually get added to the staging servers. So unfortunately speaking, as of right now, it looks like we're not going to be getting uh, that big update over on Tuesday, but rather a small content update to uh, probably uh, fix some things or add a new weapon or a new item and so on and so forth. So right now, uh, there's actually quite a bit of weapons that got leaked out to be coming soon. So it could be something like that. We also have for you guys, in case you guys did not know this, the new PlayStation Plus pack is now available. It includes the Blizzard Bomber outfit and the Mountaineers must have back bling. So yes guys, this is absolutely free if you own PlayStation Plus over on the PlayStation 5 and 4. So yeah, definitely go out there and enjoy it for yourself. We also have for you guys, tons of leaks revolving around Creative Mode 2.0. Here is a bunch of functions that you'll be able to use in Fortnite's upcoming scripting language named Verse for Creative Mode 2.0. Creating your own models, spawning items, storm controller, you can control pretty much everything about it. AI scripting, events that fire off when pretty much anything in the game happens so you have full control over everything. Changing game phases, loading and using game widgets, loading game assets at runtime, full control over building, cars, live team and player statistics. Control of the HUD, uh, you can put any message on control, that's what's being shown to players. Scoreboard control, controlling players' components, managing gameplay tags, put NPCs and control what they do and what emotes they can play, create, show, hide, destroy and move objects. So already we can definitely tell that this is going to be absolutely crazy. Teleportation device, timer device to start, save, load, pause, and resume things. Vehicle spawner, vending machine device to spawn items. Script device, control airways and data types. Date, time, until, control UI elements, show tooltips, bind, and map actions. Adding and controlling particle systems, control of audio, lights, physics, gravity, and etc. Modifying objects to change their mesh, material, or animations. Making animations play, I'm assuming custom ones as well. Modifying, removing, and adding gameplay tags. Spawning entities, kinda like actors in UE. Level streaming, set events for every tick of the game. Control of speed, vectors, velocity, and many of the game physics. Entity spawning, being able to create and destroy objects, being able to draw things and shapes on screen. Logging into the screen or to a file, uh, debugging, math calculations, and algorithms, and a bunch of notable stuff which is not even scratching the surface of what the possibility is going to be for Creative Mode 2.0. And this is just a small peek at the possibilities. You may notice I use the word control a lot, and for good reason, you have full control of pretty much everything. So Creative Mode 2.0 is legit a map builder. You guys can create a map, game modes, live events, absolutely anything in here that your imagination can possibly think about. So the more experience you guys are in Creative Mode or you know stuff outside of Creative Mode in Fortnite, the more likely you can make stuff just like Epic Games makes. So it's gonna be a pretty crazy thing to see. The amount of functions that Unreal Editor for Fortnite Creative Mode 2.0 has is crazy. It makes Creative look basic. You are gonna want to learn their scripting language because they give you access to a lot. And also made to coexist with current devices and communicate with them. I do not know the release date, but my guess would be late this season or early slash mid next season unless Epic finds game breaking bugs inside of it. All right, guys, so that was absolutely crazy. But yeah, lots of information about Creative Mode 2.0. And in case you guys were wondering, yes, it is going to absolutely change the way we play Fortnite forever. Uh, the Junk Rift was updated on Season 3's release and also shown in the Season's trailer. So it's definitely getting unvaulted this season.
Reality tree roots can be found growing more on the Fortnite points of interest. Logjam lumber yard is now being affected by the reality growth, with new roots coming out of the ground. So yeah, just like we said in the last video, this reality tree will now start spreading to tons of points of interest. So right now, it is currently spread to log jam lumber yard. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to be happening, but I would assume that we'll be seeing mushrooms growing and stuff like that very, very soon. We also have for you guys in our recent Epic Games survey, one of the questions asked survey takers to rate the amount of XP they can earn when compared to previous seasons. So Epic Games is definitely trying to adjust XP even still to this day. Uh, from Fortnite status, we are removing fire from all competitive playlists with the intention of improving server performance. We will continue to monitor your gameplay and make competitive adjustments during this preseason, as we intend to make necessary adjustments faster than in previous seasons. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about Fortnite competitive at this point. It seems like every single update gets removed and every single core feature also gets removed. So yeah, kind of whack. The reality tree will continue to grow. Here are the minimap icons for the upcoming changes. Two more routes will glow at Log Jam Lumber Yard, one at the temple near Condo Canyon, and one near the Butter Barn so far. The Tilt the Towers Building Commission has approved the blueprints and engineering plans to rebuild. Pizza Pit will return. Follow this thread for updates on the construction. Can't wait for the grand reopening later this month. So this was his submission for the Block 2.0, where essentially you guys have the ability to pick what building goes over at Tilt the Towers. So this guy made a full concept as far as, you know, building it, new stages and all that great stuff. So overall, I think it's actually one of the best ones I've seen so far. And uh, yeah, guys, so that is all I have for you guys for today's Fortnite video. If you want to support the channel the best and easiest way as possible, make sure you guys like today's video, comment down below absolutely anything, and most of all, be subscribed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.